In this video, I examine the spark producing substance called mishmetal or ferrous cerium, best known for making sparks for lighting campfires and butane lighters. Mishmetal was invented by the Austrian chemist Karl Auer, who spent his career studying the lanthanide elements. He discovered praseodymium and neodymium and was a co discoverer of lutetium. The lanthanides, also called rare earth elements, are very similar chemically and are difficult to separate. However, Auer found that the mixture of the rare earths found in mish metal was more easily obtainable and when combined with iron produced a material that had a very useful spark producing property. This is my sample of mish metal. The black and gray is oxidized metal while the shiny area has the oxide layer scraped off. I purchased the rod from United Nuclear Scientific and you can see its composition here. It's 48% cerium, 25% lanthanum, 17% neodymium, 5% praseodymium, and 5% magnesium and iron oxides. I found the mish metal to be only slightly attracted to a strong magnet. Mish metal is reported to have a very low ignition temperature, lower than that of paper. Uh, in this experiment, you can see that the mish metal shavings ignited before the paper even began to char. Any rough surface that scrapes the mish metal and generates frictional heating can produce sparks. It's really interesting, I think, to look at the spark formation in slow motion. As the knife cuts off the mish metal, frictional heating ignites the first shaving, with the heat generated more easily igniting additional shavings. Eighty grit sandpaper produced very bright light, but fewer visible sparks than with the knife. This is probably because the sandpaper produced more particles and smaller particles that burn very rapidly, in fact almost explosively. Please like and subscribe if you're so inclined, and thanks for watching.